Lucas Media. So we all know that we're trying to figure out what's going on between Tank Davis and Shakur Stevenson. Shakur being a free agent with his last fight with top rank ending last month. Trying to figure out what his next move is going to be. However, uh, the fans are screaming, calling for the fight between Tank Davis and Shakur Stevenson. Well, Eddie Hearn commented on it who might end up being a potential promoter would spoke to IFL TV and said, I wouldn't be surprised to see tank versus Shakur because situations and circumstances are everything. Tank's got all his eggs in a basket for a Vasily Lomachenko fight. Then it falls through. You're left holding your, mm, at what point at that point going, who am I going to fight? Shakur's a free agent. He's ready to de He's ready to do a deal. Timing's everything. And Eddie Hearn also got went on to say he met with Shakur Stevenson and, you know, a great fighter, all that. Then you hear reports coming out from IFL TV that the fight is on, which then I started doing my research, never heard anything about it. Shakur comes out and says that that's fake. It's fake news, which ILT, IFL TV is one of the biggest media media sites for boxing. But he comes out and says it's fake news. And then Eddie Hearn comes out and basically says that, Shakur uh, Will Zapater are in, are in talks with uh, Zapater being with Golden Boy Promotions. Now, the my question is: Is Shakur Stevenson now with Matchroom, or is he going to resign with Top Rank? Because if they're in negotiations, they're all over on the Zone banner. Then he's going to have to move over there. Now, honestly, I don't have a problem with Shakur doing these short term deals. Devin Haney's done it, where you bounce around. You might do two fights on ESPN, three fights on. PBC, Amazon, three fights on the zone. I don't, but, you know, I could understand if he doesn't, if you want to get more long-term deal. But un unfortunately, us fans, man, we're the ones left hanging with it. We're the disappointed ones. We we were trying to see a Tank Davis versus Shakur Stevenson, which would be a mega fight. The press conference would be crazy. And they would do easily 600000 and pay-per-view sales because as Adrian Broner say, the whole hood will come out to watch it. Or even if Tank Davis were to fight Vasily Lomachenko, but this is the problem with boxing. So now we're, we're left, we fans are left hanging. And if Shakur is signs to the zone, you know that fight's not going to happen for a while because it's two different networks and he's going to have to fulfill his obligations with Matrim. Now, I do think, though, that Eddie Hearn, he's the biggest promoter right now. He would be able to get the fight done, but I don't think it will be done anytime soon. The suits are going to try to drag this out. And I was just thinking earlier, I don't understand why, why are people afraid to see fighters lose? When you look at the 80s and, and before all of that, Man, people took losses. Hell, Mike Tyson got his he got his head and his bell rang against Buster Douglas and came back and was still a pay-per-view, the pay-per-view star. And still had some of the biggest pay-per-view watch fights of all time. But with these fighters, man, it's not like at the floor, people just afraid to take a loss. But when you saw Sugar Ray Leonard versus Tommy Hearns, they was young in their prime. I think Tommy Hearns is what, 22 years old? So we don't we're being robbed of this, and it's okay to see fighters lose, but, you know, the suits and stuff, they want to make sure they squeeze all the money out as possible, but look, if Shakur fight Zapata, it is what it is. I'll definitely support the fight. I just want to see these fighters fight more active, more often. I hope that Shakur doesn't go through negotiations for like a year, then you don't know what's going on, and so on and so forth, but yeah, I highly doubt that this Tank versus Shakur fight is not happening and unless ifl did did get a hold of it and they lying and not, you know there's a lot of games in boxing but i just want to get my quick thoughts about it and tell me what y'all think